video is a different kind of fashion video, as you can see. So, after 42 years, our dormant volcano erupted three days ago. and it still has not been very pretty. It has been one of the worst since 1902 and we are all devastated. My mom is definitely oblivious to the disaster that's happening outside. I think it's definitely our turn to keep her that way because she has an impending surgery. There's so much going on, like most people right now. So, as you guys may know by now, the volcano erupted and it's really it's like a snowstorm outside except that it's not snow it's volcanic ash so being the man of the house i've just tried feeding my mom she's she's not eating she's not eating the woman just refuses to eat i don't no, if it's because of her impending toe amputation or leg amputation, most likely we'll know soon. But the doctor thinks she's depressed and we were at the emergency all day with her yesterday while the volcano was erupting. So now there's so much ash on my balconies. And so I'm gonna go try to clean it because there's nobody else here to clean it at the moment. So this is my cleaning outfit of the day. This is an old shirt that my mom used to wear. I'm just gonna put it over. This is definitely circular fashion at its best. My mom's shirt, somebody's undershirt, somebody's pants. Guys, yeah. I'm gonna put on some socks, tracks, and then I'm gonna tie my whole head with a big piece of bandana or cloth. So the roof is supposed to be brown. <laughs> Actually, the roof should be red but right now it's brown <laughs> and of course i cannot get to the roof because it's a bit steep and high so i'll leave that to the expert but right now i need to clear the bottom section of the roof i could still hear some rumbling but the sky is not too bad Except on that side over there, it's pretty overcast. Cement. <laughs> this was so exhausting, guys. And my niece and I took it on and I'm really proud of her and the work we did that day. It was, ah. Oh. So now returning in dirt to change. So what I'm doing here is to simply convert in my shirt into a skirt. I do this little trick all the time. One day I'll definitely share it with you because you can't see it well here. 
but guys yeah then I simply store the rest in a plastic bag for washing on my way down I noticed this gecko and oh my god it survived I don't know how it got in but it must have sent something wow and of course I looked outside and it was getting dusty all over again and how I know is that I saw a worm yeah I know it's it's creepy crawly but I don't it survived the trail I don't see where it came from it's not, huh. so this is my post cleanup outfit because we are going to do something that I think is very important today and so this top I got in 2018 from under my mom's bed the pants is a piece that I got and I got several pieces from that bag that my nephew left behind when he moved out and yes they are a bit on the looser side but I love them because they were perfect perfect at home pieces and they were perfect when I finished doing the roof because oh that's what I wanted comfy loose fitting clothes they are all a hundred percent natural fibers cotton and it's a testament to how long the longevity of natural fibers you cannot beat so today as mentioned the important project that we are doing is to put some pieces together that I had in a room to donate they were going towards a charity here in St. Vincent but I am sure that the person who runs the charity wouldn't mind if I do donate them. So my nieces and I got together and we separate the pieces because we had an idea of some of the evac evacuees that were over at the shelter nearby. So we knew that the pieces would fit in perfectly. My niece, again, a trooper. Her name is Bubbles. There's a story behind it. <laughs> Maybe one day we, we would share that story. And her sister, who you can see right here, along with her kid. That's what we did all that evening. And it was absolutely amazing. The number of pieces we found. We thank you so much for your prayers at this moment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you guys soon.